It's quite difficult to put it into words, but what the Summer of Love did, it brought youth culture together and it deconstructed the class taboos and race and sexuality and, and youth culture melded into one and, and we all knew that we were we were in this movement and, and felt part of a tribe and it was a tribe, it was the Acid House rave tribe. It just boomed across the whole country um, and the tabloid newspapers tried to scandalise it. What they actually did was promote the uh, scene itself. It was a very exciting time and, um, and it brought about a lot of unity between uh, youth culture and changed so much uh, in British society. I missed the Summer of Love in 1988, although I did actually go to Ibiza in 1988. It was the first ever lads holiday. But I look back on that whole era with real fascination. When you look at those grainy videos of people dancing, it showed and it told a picture of these people just lost in the moment, unified by new music and new drug and this just incredible cultural revolution that was going on. So what we wanted to do is to look back at that and celebrate a great record with a great soul and a great purpose and a great meaning. Well, Sterling Void It's All Right is in the top 10, the top 20 ultimate house music classics. It's, it's a positive spiritual message of hope and unity. And it was all right. Everything was all right. You know, we'd all We'd all come together and it was, there was so much hope and optimism and positivity and that's what these records emanated. For me, All Right is one of the cornerstone records of house music from which the whole scene has grown up. Not just musically, but the message in the music it was so powerful and it's been imprinted on my brain ever since I heard it and I think it really represents and is the anthem uh, for that generation of clubbers. It, it really embodies the whole movement of the early house music scene. So when we sat down in the a &R meeting to decide who's going to remix this record, fundamentally we wanted to choose people that this record really meant something to. Because when you remix a classic, it has to come from the heart. And we wanted to choose the best of the best from each subgenre. So we chose a Desi version, who's done something, something really cool and slightly raw. Um, we chose Army and Edge and Dance, again, for that straight up club connection to the younger generation. Spen is so musical, he can literally inject soul into anything. And, and me to bring the, the tour room vibe to the record. And we're really happy with the package of remixes, and I think it fully represents. Uh, house music here and now. It's definitely a house classic because of the lyrics and because of, of course the melody and the, I don't know, and the, the time where, where it, when it was released. This week is exactly the time to be a classic. You know? It's there in the same line of uh, Alias, Follow Me or Joe Smooth, Promised Land. All these type of uh, positive uh, vibes, you know. And uh, I just felt amazing doing the, the remix. Uh, and fear, because you, you remix a classic, you don't want to offend the OGs. Yeah, of course. You want to respect the original, uh, doing a fresh track from now, from 2018. And yeah, it's a bit scary. Yeah. <laughs> and and we, we didn't want to, to cut too much the vocal, because the vocal means so much in the track, so it was like kind of a big deal, but we did it. I think the message of the song is, is uh, on par with the relevance of back in the 80s. Um, you know, let's not uh, forget that there was a wall dividing Germany at the time, there was apartheid in South Africa, and all these things started to change around the time of you know, the 88, 89 Summer of Love. And that fueled this optimism and this message that came through in the music. It's very relevant in today's society because um, there's, there, I mean, the world has its problems today and I think some of the world's problems are on par, if not greater than what we were experiencing back then. Nothing changed really, you know. War, racism, everything is still there. It will never change, I guess. And at this time, uh, back in the days, uh, we had those people who tried to pass some messages on. And uh, I think we were missing this in house music nowadays. So the scene has changed immensely since the Summer of Love. 
Um, you could argue it's way more corporate and people are caught up on their phones and not caught up in the moment. But I think that's a real negative way to look at it. It's been 30 years since dance music exploded and in that time technology and culture has changed massively but the scene still lives on, the music still lives on and it's thanks to that Summer of Love generation and tracks like All Right that we have a scene in the first place which has given me and millions of other people so much joy.